Like I have a degree in earth science and geology and for a few years I worked at an iron mine and I just couldn't stay away from the game. It just keeps calling me back. Meet Rebecca Babiak, a woman who simply cannot live away from the game of hockey. I don't really play anymore, um, but I'm on the ice, you know, hours and hours and hours a week just working with the kids and that to me is just the best part is just sharing my knowledge and gaining more knowledge and then just imparting it on, on the kids. Originally from Manitoba, the coach never hesitated to travel many miles in order to live out her passion. I have my parents to thank for kind of always putting me in situations where I'm not scared to kind of leave and go somewhere where I don't know anybody. And so I've done that a few times when I moved to New York and then moved to Newfoundland and then when the opportunity presented itself to coach full time in PEI, I just kind of packed up my car, literally put everything in and just kind of took off and I uh, just kind of always used hockey to, to travel and see new places and it's taken me so many, so many fun places. Her determination and talent are what landed her an invitation to serve as an assistant coach for Team PEI at the QMJHL Cup. I was very happy that Hockey PEI kind of chose me to, to be able to help the coaching staff here. So I do have them to thank for giving me this opportunity. And at the end of the day, I think us is for women to get into coaching. It's just to be able to be given those opportunities to, to start our, our careers. As for her career, she still has very high ambitions. Absolutely, I want to get into professional hockey. Um, I do just love to learn, and that's the part about I love kind of going to these tournaments and things like that, because you get different coaching staff, different ideas you can take back to your own team, and, and then I get to, uh, get to share that with my kids and then grow my own career. So yeah, I hope this is kind of a stepping stone onto a career in, in the queue and in pro hockey and eventually the NHL one day. But in the meantime, you can catch her behind the QMJHL Cup bench once again. This time in what will be the final stage of the Prospects Tournament, held in Blainville in April. And who knows, maybe we'll see Rebecca working in the queue one day.